everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to Night in the Woods part 3. And in the last part we found that hand which was very bizarre and I'm kind of thinking it's linked to that guy who went missing. Um, but we're just gonna have to continue and uh, see what's going on. I still don't know like whether this game has like an end goal or anything like that. I'm really not too sure. I haven't really watched anyone else's series or uh, read about this game. So I don't know whether it has like an end to this game or whether it's just like an exploration and you kind of just do what you want to do. Um, looks like we're going on the computer. I forgot we now have a computer. Oh, Greg's message us. Oh, by the way, B works at the old pickaxe, so you can go there. Get some tools, lol. Big axe and go on a rampage, lol. Okay, um, might just do that. That might be what we're doing today. Uh, so kind of go see B. It's really confusing having a main character called May and a side character called B, but them both being spelt with A-E or E-A, because I always want to call her Bay. Um, which I'm probably gonna do, let's be real. I'm probably gonna call, uh, B-Bay, because... Alright, um... Has this moved yet? I feel like this isn't gonna move. No. Still not moved. Maybe we should ask him to move that stuff. I wanna go in the hidey hole. I wanna see what's down there. But we'll head this way. Our mom's probably here. I guess we should speak to her like we always do every morning. Morning, mom. All day, mom. Every day, mom. What are you up to today? Greg and Angus and B are going to a party, so I might go out with them. A party, huh? Look at you. Back two days and already the social butterfly. Yeah, I'm in pretty high demand. I'm in pretty high demand. We're gonna go cocky. Are you keeping in touch with any of your friends from college? Didn't really make any friends. Not even your roommate. Not that nice girl you met at orientation. Not really. Okay, well, go out there and have a nice time, honey. I will. See you later. Right, we're off. We're going to a party, which is fun. I mean, I personally have not been to a party, like a proper party, like a house party, since university, <laughs> um, which was a few years ago now, which is bizarre. But yeah, um, have I been to a party since then? Not really. Um, kinda don't wanna speak to any of these people. Oh, what are you all doing? If we don't start getting, uh, there ain't gonna be a possum spring. So we gotta do whatever we can do to get the market to notice us. We can get back to the topic at hand. Yeah, so we allocate the funds to preserve. Gary, you're not hearing me. Don't tell me what I'm not hearing you, Andrew. Okay, bye. Your ass is not a f Wow! Gary pulling out the ass. Jeez. Oh, that sounded wrong. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we need to go pick up these tools. What are we picking tools up for again? I can't even remember. But uh, we should probably go. Fat pocket pawn. We don't need to go in there. Hi, who are you? Can I talk to you? Apparently not. Um, oh, this is where she works. Should we go in? Let's have a gander. Yeah, Bill, write it up as on the clock. She's not gonna like that. I don't care if she doesn't like it. It was her fault, plain and simple. That is time extra, we charge for that. All right then. What was that all about? Uh, hey, B. Hey, how's work? Stressful, end of the month coming up and I have to start ordering in winter stuff, which means I have to bribe one or hopefully two of the guys to unload the trucks because I am not carrying in a truck full of rock salt myself. Huh, what do you want? Well, Greg asked me to ask you if you would drive us to the party tonight. You know, the one in State Park? Thanks for clarifying. Otherwise, I might have been confused. As to which of the dozens of parties going down on any given night in Possum Springs. She's so freaking sarcastic, but I actually really enjoy it. Um, you were referring to. 
Are you being sarcastic? Never. I'll drive. Great, thanks. We'll be by your house at 8.30. Be ready or we'll go without you. Okay, don't get lost on your way home. I know where I live. No, seriously, go home and get ready. All right, all right, jeez. <laughs> okay, so uh, looks like we're off to our house. Greg rules B, Beatrice Santello, maybe. Ha <laughs> ha, I like it. Okay, so we asked B. Um, we didn't get any tools though. Should we go straight home or should we, I didn't mean to click that. I just entered by accident. Should we go straight home or should we go somewhere else? I feel like we should go explore a little bit. Nah, let's go home. We may as well. I want to get to this party after all. Oh, I just jumped on a pigeon. Sorry, pigeon. Didn't mean to. I don't, oh look, there's a cat in the window. I'm a cat. How is there a normal cat in the window? Yeah, I'm a cat. That makes no sense. Catception. Hey, squirrel. Whee! Can we jump up there? Ugh. That was a big ass jump, man. I wanted to get up to see the squirrel. Okay, let's go home. I can't believe we're actually listening to B. Hey, May. Hey, dude. What? I was just stopping by to see how you were doing. Why? After the other night, I mean. Why wouldn't I be fine? May, a lot of things have happened around here. Sometimes in town, sometimes out by the tracks, sometimes up in the hills. What? It's my job to make sure folks like you never see something like what you saw the other night. You're not doing a very good job of it. Better than you might think. I've been back less than three days and I already saw dead potty parts. Which wasn't a big deal, but you didn't see Tom Jennings shoot his brother in the stomach last night out on Doty Lane, out past Arna. You didn't have to walk out into that cornfield. Jeez. You're a kid, May, and you're naive. And in its own stupid way, that's beautiful. But the world isn't. And the world isn't out there somewhere. It's here. All right, are you going to arrest me or something? Because I have a party to go to. Watch yourself, May. I'd really hate to see something happen to you. Being in the wrong place at the wrong time is all it takes. That's all I'm saying. That's ominous. <laughs> Good night, May. Wow. Molly's getting serious. But I guess she should be. I mean, if a kid's been killed, then she kind of doesn't want it happening to her niece, does she? We're going to go tell her mom and dad. Oh, hey, dad. Hey, sweetie. Look who's home. Hey there, parents. I made tacos. Excuse me. We made tacos. Tacos? Tacos! Do you want tacos? Uh, I want tacos every day, all day. The family, the tacos together, Rocco's together. Honey, no. What? I am so angry right now. You've all turned against me. May, honey, do you want sour cream on your taco? I want everything. May is me. I will have a fully loaded taco. Oh, I've not had tacos in so long. There's like barely any good taco places in the UK. Okay, okay, okay. It's go time. Ugh. I should probably make sure I don't look like a cave beast. How do we do that? The mirror? Or did she say cave bat? Cave beast? I don't know. Looking all right. God, this shirt really accentuates my roundness, doesn't it? I have the worst face. I have a nightmare face. We'll go for the shirt one. I think the round zero doesn't help. Uh, it's cool, dude. Round is okay. I'm being body, body positive like the internet said. I'm a real life person and no one can prove I'm not. You can do this. People like you. Um, whew, I don't like people clearly. Just because that online test says that the, your best chance of being happy is a situation where everyone already likes you, but they mostly leave you alone, except when they're delivering food to you. That doesn't mean you can hide in your room and wait for that to happen. That's how hermits are made, mate, and they die alone in the middle of winter, waiting for pizza from friends they don't want to see. 
Right, what are you going to say? You're a smooth talker. You're a smoothie. Hi, I'm May. How's it going? Oh, hey, I'm May. What's your name? Hi, I'm May. I dropped out of college earlier this week. Um, we'll go for that one. Oh, I think I know you from somewhere. It's probably from when we were lovers and we beat up that street gang with chains and garbage cans. <laughs> oh, man. Poor May. This is her anxiety coming out, isn't it? Oh, jeez. They'll be here any minute. Good luck, kid. I don't need luck. I make my own luck. With a luck machine. I mean, I like how she handles it, but, you know, this this game is about, like, her thoughts and depression and anxiety and everything like that. And it hasn't really shown up until that point. Hey, May, I think Cole might be there tonight. What? Oh. My. God. Who's Cole? Um, you remember him. He was in a yearbook with us. Oh, Cole. Yeah, I remember him. May and him were a thing for a while. Really? Wow. He was really smart. I'm really smart. Yeah, you are, dude. <laughs> well, that's settled then. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are the weirdest group of friends you could, like, ever imagine. Like, weirder than the Oxen Free Gang, who I thought were very, very odd. Whereas these guys just take it to, like, the next level. They are really bizarre friends. Ugh. That was awful. I hate beer. I can't remember the last time I drank beer. It's not a delicious drink at all. I agree. I drink beer, but I have to be in the mood to drink beer. I don't know if I should have another drink right now. Yeah, maybe not. Let's go talk to B and this guy. What? Nothing. Oh, okay then. Maybe we won't go. <gasps> These two are about to make out. Oh, we can't go any deeper into the forest, which is probably a good idea. Who's this? Oh god. It's... I'm guessing that's the guy she made out with. You guys probably can't hear this music. Hey Greg! Hey dudes! Yo, did you see Cole's here? Oh god. You okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gonna talk to him? Yeah, sure. Yeah, man! You sure, May? Yeah, I mean, why should I be weird about it? Well, I mean, you did write that song afterwards. What was it called? Go get dead, angel face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we don't need to talk about angel. Okay. <laughs> Can you guys believe this dude playing the guitar? Yep, playing the douchebag hits. I like this song. Is this a douchebag song? Nah, no, don't worry, big guy. <laughs> There's always one douchebag with a guitar. There is a douchebag. Greg and me are on the same page. That's what I just said. There is a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back in school, you'd always have some frat boy hanging out on the lawn, trying to look all sensitive. Why is this a douchebag song? <laughs> oh, Angus, you poor innocent child. There is always a douchebag with a guitar at a party. All the time. Let's go talk to him. Okay, let's go grab another drink then. <laughs> I feel like we probably shouldn't. But I mean, if it's gonna make it easier. Sigh. I guess beer is just one of those horrible things adults do. Like doing taxes and having babies. <laughs> adults are weird, man. Oh, hey, I'm May. What's your name? Is that you, May? Oh, I think I know you from somewhere. Uh, yeah, high school. Probably when we were lovers. <laughs> yeah, I guess. And we beat up that street gang. Oh yeah, with chains and garbage cans. Good times, May. I still have that game, by the way. My girlfriend back in school. What the hell is your problem? What? <laughs> be cool, May. Go get a drink and be cool. <laughs> I think we should stop drinking. I feel like we're far too, we're gonna be drinking far too much. Screw it, I'm doing two bits. I'm doing bit. I still taste tacos, okay? Nothing. Oh, you don't know if you should have another one right now. Oh god, you're drunk already. That's why we came out here, right? Not really. I have to drive. And even if I didn't, well, I don't have my license. So woohoo for me. <laughs> oh god. Who is that? Remember May Borowski? Oh god. 
Mate, you're drunk. You need to go chill by the fire. I'm gonna go run around naked in the woods. Go sit now. Can we go run around naked in the woods? I wanna go do that instead of sitting. I wanna sit. Let me have another beer. I want another drink. Ugh, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, okay. Oh, is it literally just making me sit by the fire? Hey, Greg. Whoa, dude, are you okay? Hey, Greg, did you know I think you and Ang Angie, what? Angie are so cute. <laughs> I did know that, dude. Well, good. Hey, Angie, my dad knows your dad. They used to work together back in the 80s. Okay. He used to hang out at the bar with your daddy. <laughs> dude, don't ever say daddy again. Psst. What? My dad has had to stop drinking because he was a danger to me and my mum. <laughs> oh god. Oversharing. Okay, mate, you're not allowed to drink anymore, ever. I'm sat by the fire, listening to a douchebag guitarist. Why are you coming over to me? Hey, mate. Hey, Coolio. Wow, haven't heard that in forever. It's been like three years. That's not long at all. Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple of days from school and shut up already. What? The girl at the video store is all like, woo woo, cute boys. And you're a cute boy, Cole. Oh, thanks mate. I, uh, but people, I hate cute people. Cute is the worst. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Why does that uh, fox look like Ed Sheeran? Gives me an Ed Sheeran vibe. And it's not my fault I'm total trash fire. I got nightmare eyes and the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window and then I stab you with my knife. Stab, 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 boom, dead. When the police get there, you're all nightmare eyes. New nickname. So don't F with me, kid. Okay, mate, you're threatening people now. No B, this is me being body positive. Read the internet. Mate, I think you need to F college. Yeah. All those rich kids and hot people. Or writing sex and having papers with each other. <laughs> Close enough. And that damn statue pointing at me every day. It's supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. I am a total trash mall. And nothing is ever going to work out. We never had a chance here, but I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again. And I can do something besides sleep and cry alone. Because things aren't just things here, you know? Oh god. I'm so sick too death. Does that make sense, Colio? Mate, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I think you're a really great home again. Woo! Okay, Greg is... Oh, Chunder! Chunder Dragon! Tacos. Oh, mate. You just chundered all over your crush. If you puke in this car, so help me. I really am quite embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. You got sloppy ass drunk after what? Three cups of watered down beer? Remember when we used to be best friends? We used to be best friends, B, and I still love you, B. These are like my texts when I'm drunk. These are like my texts to Danielle when I've had like two beers. I didn't get a word of that. Remember you used to call me Mayday and I called you BB? Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. Remember when we were scouts together and we caught that turtle? Yeah, Boxy the turtle. He died. Why are you mad at me all the time? Aw oh, man, if I puke in here, your parents are gonna be so mad at me. Tell your mom I'm sorry, okay? She's so nice. God damn it, May. What? My mother is dead. Oh shit. She died of cancer senior year oh god how do you not know this did you forget about my dead mom I don't know what to say I feel like we should be kind of serious oh my god you used to be smart you used to be cool you used to be worth talking to why did you even come back Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? 
I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now if it meant I could go to college. Oh god. They're both not in a good place. Oh man. This is where the going gets tough. This is where the game starts to hit you. That's bad, man. There you go. I'm sorry, B. I'm a mess. You know, whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you by two months. Yeah, well, I stayed here and got older. While you went off and stayed the same. Whew, good night, Mayday. Oh, okay. So she's not just being like harsh to us. She actually has reasons for it. Oh God. We got a baseball bat. Dream world. Dream B. Dream May, not B. Where are we going? Why are we not naked? I thought we'd be naked. You know, cause she said she wanted to run through the forest naked. Where are we? The Killsburg. Where are we going, man? Can we hit things? Oh, we can. Sick. Take all our anger out on this bin. Oh, can we hit a car? Yeah. Taking all our anger out. Oh god. Imagine if this were real. God, what's this? Oh! Hello. Oh! Oh God, it's all gonna fall on us. Happened. That was a thing that happened. That was a weird dream. Bear dreams. Am I right? Okay, so we reached part two. Weird autumn. So that was the first chapter, basically. Um, I am gonna end this part here, though, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this part. Give it a big thumbs up. We can start to see where the darkness in this game is really coming into it now. It was pretty lighthearted up until this point. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is where it starts to get real. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys.